Okay, well here we are, we're on our freight elevator vestibule on the ground floor. We come through the main doors leading from the loading dock in, and now we have another set of secured doors which will now enter and actually start getting into the storage areas. So this is how we enter each one of these rooms. It's secured, climate controlled. One of the good things about this is if the power were to go out, this room is powered by a generator on site here that runs on natural gas so we can maintain climate, temperature and humidity levels that are proper levels that are part of the standards of our museum and it's all maintained. So everything in here is protected. This room is where a lot of artwork would come into and one of the things I wanted to bring up was the issue of how art actually comes into our museum. There are three ways. It's either going to be a loan, a gift, or a purchase. But either way, it's still got to come into the museum. So when artworks do come in, this room can be used for restoring loans, plus also our collection. Now I'm standing in front of one of our hanging racks where we have the option to hang a painting. Now works that usually are hung up here are works that have no glass on them. They're canvases. So we hang these on these racks, which roll in and out. And one of the aspects is every rack is numbered. So we can keep track of which rack it's on. Every object will be given a number. So when we hang it, we can come back later and find out where that object is. So I'll show you how the racks go back in. But this provides me good storage space for art objects. And we try to make sure they're not hanging too close together so we can safely remove them. All right, here we are. We're in our storage area. Most of, like I mentioned earlier, is two-dimensional storage. And besides hanging racks, one of the options I have are storage bins. And a lot of these are for objects that are usually under glass or plexiglass. So they can be easily slid in and out. We have coroplast plastic between each item to protect it so there's no abrasion going on. But this is another way we have to store artworks that come into the museum. Now one of the things we do have to do is each bin has a number. So like this particular bin would be bin number nine, upper. That way when I enter a piece, and every piece itself has a number that we put onto it with a tag or actually physically mark. So when we put the artwork away, we have a number for it and a location, so later we can retrieve it. That's part of our collection management system that our registrar uses. And one of the things I've learned is when we put it away, we are very, very careful to record that because a happy registrar makes for a happy museum. We are now in a 3D storage area. You notice I'm standing by some large furniture on large shelves. Now, my 3D storage, I have the... Uh, the advantage of having two different separate storage rooms in 3D storage, which is very good. Now, I have the big shelves in the front room near the door where we'd enter the museum. One of the things we have to do is we have to plan out our layout of our storage areas and why would you put certain things where you do? Well, one of the standards we use, it's always better to move big objects near the door in and out instead of bringing them through smaller objects. If something were to go wrong, something were to fall over, I would not want a large piece to fall into small objects and cause damage. So that's the reason why we've laid the room out the way we have. We have plenty of room down the aisles to move carts safely, to move whatever we need to in here to move a large piece safely to protect the art, protect the workers. Because part of our duty is to take care of this collection. And it's our privilege so we can share it with you. Right, here we are back in the second room of our storage area where we've got our nice powder baked enamel shelves. These are very quality, high quality shelves, made to high fi finish. We've got a foam layer of protection for every object on each and every shelf. It's a good place where we can store three-dimensional objects. The room is climate controlled. Light levels are usually maintained very low in here when no one's in the room to help protect the artworks. Once again, every location is tagged with a number so we can find the objects. So this gives us plenty of storage area to store three-dimensional objects. Now, a lot of times people ask, well, how many things are not being shown? Well, a lot of times, a lot, to be honest. But, you know, we don't have the physical room to show everything. But one of the things we do in our galleries, especially with our own collection, is we will rotate objects out, have special shows. We've had shows on a collection of our wood, collection of our glass, collection of our metal. In fact, right now we have an exhibition up featuring over a thousand items. 
and our Cochrane Gallery of American Art from our own collection. So this is where we can store our art safely and bring it in and out and take it up for our exhibitions. Another thing we have in our three-dimensional storage available to us are quality cabinets where we can store different materials like silver. Silver is safer to store and in a controlled environment where we can place charcoal strips to help control the tarnishing on the metal. So these are quality cabinets which we do give, which we purchase and use for storage and collection. So we have built-in shelving, we have slide-out drawers which are available to put other objects into. Once again, everything's foam lined. This particular instance, we have acrylic dividers to protect the objects from running in and hitting each other, and the drawers are open or closed. And once again, everything is numbered to help keep track of where that particular object would be located. So this is another way we have to preserve, store, and protect pieces that are in our collection or loaned to us.